This is an electric car, but it doesn't have a battery. Its engine produces its own electricity by using hydrogen, a gas some people believe is the clean fuel of the future. Replacing gasoline and diesel with hydrogen is one of the answers to reducing CO2 emissions. A European project is underway to work on developing this technology. Today there are only a few hundred vehicles that run on hydrogen on Europe's roads. Denmark is leading the way. It's the first country in the world equipped with a nationwide network of 10 hydrogen fueling stations. Instead of a battery you have what is a fuel cell. Uh, where you have uh, oxygen reacting with hydrogen, creating uh, electricity and water. Uh, so it's a chemical reaction, the water goes out the, the tailpipe and, and that's the only emission. The goal is to boost the number of hydrogen fueling stations across Europe to 50 within two years and to double the number of hydrogen fueled cars on the road. There are a number of advantages in using hydrogen over battery electric vehicles, according to their makers. It drives very smooth, you don't have uh, any noise from the engine. And the benefits are you can keep the path and you know from combustion engine that you can go into a refueling station, you can fill up your, your tank in three to five minutes and then you're on the way again with a range of, of, of uh, four to six hundred kilometers. One of the challenges is to produce clean hydrogen from renewable sources. The technology already exists. Here in Sheffield, in northern England, this station is equipped with an electrolyzer. The wind turbine provides the energy needed to produce on-site hydrogen using water electrolysis. Most of the hydrogen that we have today comes from fossil fuels. But when we think about using hydrogen for mobility and transport, we're thinking about green hydrogen production sources. We can directly couple renewables with a, with a single wire to the production source and then to our mobility. Research is well underway. The aim is to improve the efficiency of electrolyzers, the devices that separate water into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen can then be purified and stored on site. This company is developing advanced electrolyzers to produce what it calls clean hydrogen. We can make the hydrogen when electricity is in surplus, when it's lowest cost and when it's greenest and we can make it anywhere. So we can make it on site at the petrol station, or refueling station, we should say nowadays. And, and that enables us to eliminate the need for tanker delivery of fuel. The challenge is also to bring down the cost. It is still much more expensive to buy and run a hydrogen-fueled car than a conventional one. What we would hope is that by around about 2025, You've got um, equivalent costs of owning a hydrogen vehicle and fueling a hydrogen vehicle compared to a petrol or diesel vehicle today. That's the target. Will hydrogen cars compete with battery-powered cars? Their makers say there is room for both on the road. The mix of the future vehicle will be between battery and, and hydrogen. And you also see already that there are uh, battery hydrogen hybrids on the road, etc. And I think we'll see all three solutions. But then we need to, uh, to compete first and foremost against the fossil technologies. The ambition being to see hundreds of thousands of hydrogen vehicles on Europe's roads 10 years from now.